people deluded. Arsenal 8, Swansea 0 and our under-18s run riot again. I must admit, I've seen them um, score quite a lot of goals. Haven't seen them ship 8 in a single game. And it was a fantastic game to watch. And it's nice to see our under-18s consistently playing like this. Consistently um, playing with confidence. And obviously, a lot of these players won't make it at the club. But I do think some of them are going to go on to have good careers here or elsewhere. So yeah, playing against Swansea is business as usual. The under eighteens are trying to win this league. They've got Spurs, Spurs on Tuesday. Forgive me if I'm wrong. North London derby. So yeah, man, you want to take three points. I don't think Spurs are challenging for the league, but I know they beat Fulham, obviously under eighteens level. Um, but yeah, going into the game for me, it looked Swansea just looked like lambs to the slaughter. It just looked like boys against men. It just no disrespect to Swansea because I admire how they clearly have a philosophy with trying to play out from the back and you saw them repeatedly try it but without trying to sound biased it, just a class Arsenal just a class above physically but sh just 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 covering ground just intent tactically all of them things there Arsenal just looked a different class man different class we were play we were putting some nice moves together like you like you can gather with a game like this Swansea can't get out of their own half they're playing hot potato for me anyways they're trying to play out from the back but it's like no Swansea player wants to take authority none wants to really hold on to the ball and it's kind of just passing the buck passing responsibility playing hot potato not trying to get the ball under possession can't try and hold it for a few moments actually play with your head up obviously that's playing to our advantage fourth minute was a lovely set piece routine from us and it came to no avail but similar to the first team i have seen the under 18s 23s and first team all working on set piece routines whether it's short whether it's long whether it's outside the area and it's nice to consistently see every game i'm seeing the under 18s like in this game a different um combination of such it's not i like to see these sort of things because it encourages thinking for these young players um but yeah nice bit of trickery early on from balogun done it all game and i think he was a fawn in their in in their side but he done one lovely little roulette and then he got fouled and then from that free kick if i can remember correctly um we went one nil up essentially uh, no no i'm lying to you i'm lying to you that's another game. Uh, we've done. See, this is what I'm saying. We've done it so much, people. We were like I said. We were, we were all over them, in my humble opinion. And the way we took the lead again, they kind of self-inflicted, playing hot potato, dispossessed into in possession. It's a lovely team move. Arsene Wenger would have been proud of it, in my humble opinion, people. Um, eventually, eventually, Greenwood's played in. Greenwood makes no mistake. We go one nil up again under similar circumstances. We pick. We we go two nil up in the eleventh minute or so. Again, it's poor Swansea defense in a man's court eventually Smith pip, um, pips them to the ball and he plays in Balogun 10 minutes okay it's 11 minutes but you get the point 10 minutes 2-0 in at home we're doing what we need to do and we, it, it's well deserved man because like I said Swansea okay, of course they hit us occasionally throughout the first half on the break but I don't think they did anything I don't feel they really believed they could play and they just yeah man they looked like they defeated themselves as much as us but we started off strongly, we played good passes, Greenwood's a joy to watch and, and his link-up play. Coyle was doing, I don't even know how to describe Coyle sometimes, he obviously got a hat-trick in the second half, but just some of his mannerisms were quite good. And obviously Smith and Cotterill, again, two of the most underrated players at this level, at our club in terms of this season, in the engine rooms, um, like like you saw. We obviously made it 3-0, a man I'm speaking about, Cotterill, Good effort, man. I can't. I can't remember. Was it top bins or just below that? Top bins. A lovely thunder strike from his left foot. But again, all of this can be traced back with Swansea lads getting caught in possession or losing the ball. So if I was their coach, I'd be quite livid because as good as I think Arsenal were in this game, they all of their goals really and truly like Arsenal made it work. Don't get me wrong. We we scored a couple good goals, but some of them were just sloppy and we were just taking advantage. We were counter attacking with joy, in my opinion. Monty Daly Campbell probably came alive slightly better in the second half, but first half he was doing his thing. We were doing all right, man. Um, we didn't have much to do. And McGuinness, when we when we did, he was sweeping up well at the back. It's 3-0, 28 or 29 minutes or so. It's 3-0 at this moment in time. Greenwood did well initially as well, I felt, in the build-up to the third goal. Obviously, if slightly before half-time or a couple moments before half-time, we make it 4 Um McGuinness, the man in question, who I just said was sweeping up when he had to, thumping header eventually from a corner, and it becomes 4-0 eventually. We did obviously have chances, 35th minute, um, no, no, 
it wasn't the 35th minute, 30th minute or something like that. I think a lovely ball was put in behind on a couple of occasions and you're just thinking, where is our strikers, man? Some of our strikers at this level, you've got to be poachers and throughout the game, there was a couple of them. It literally could have been 10 or 15 people. 35th minute, I got a hail up Swanson because there was a lovely, as, as, as a failed right back, failed, failed winger as a right back myself, there was one lovely, they broke, they broke on us, Swansea broke, and then he was on the left-hand side, he ran over to the right-hand side, it was a lovely slide tackle, man, inch perfect, you don't make it, you probably get sent off and you make yourself look like an idiot, but I thought I'd hail up Swanson for that one, man, but what can I say, it's 4-0, we're playing well, I think Musa's playing as well, obviously he's a, um, he's, a, he's technically a schoolboy, he'll be a first-year scholar with Miguel Aziz and Kiddo, Kiddo Hart Taylor and Malcolm and Elwabi, I think, and forgive me if I'm wrong, and the rest of them, but... Musa, I've seen him play a lot of roles at Arsenal's under-18s, He's playing a couple of positions. He seemed to be playing midfield, central midfield. And I think he was doing all right, man. I'm keen to see how he adapts to being a first-year scholar. I think his technical ability is good. He was, he was, he was keeping things ticking in there, man. As he, as he's when he came, Miguel Aziz, when he came on in the second half as well, I feel he, I really like how he plays. But I feel Musa's doing his thing. I feel we're playing well. Balogun's up for it. Greenwood's up for it. Coyle's up for it. The men in the end room, Smith, Cotterill up for it. The whole team is down for it. Our keeper ain't having too much to do. Our centre-halves are probably bored. It's 4-0 at half-time, people. Swansea have defeated themselves because, like I've been keep saying, the, the goals, I was just looking at it. It's like people are getting caught in possession, people playing sloppy passes, people are not assessing their options quick enough. And I know they're young, professional, first-year, second-year scholars, whatever, but you're professional footballers, more or less. I can't, I couldn't believe some of the stuff I was seeing from Swansea. Um, so, yeah... Second half essentially was more of the same. I felt it really started to pick up when, for me anyways, when Coyle switched from the left-hand side in the first half to the right-hand side, I feel him and Vontae Daly-Campbell combined in very well down that right-hand side, man. Vontae Daly-Campbell put one lovely ball in in the second half, early on in the second half, early cross, and I think Greenwood pull it in and they said it's offside. Now, I saw it as it happened and obviously there's no VAR and stuff. But I'm 99% sure that was not offside and them two there were denied a good little flash flash highlight thing which could have been on Arsenal's Academy's Twitter page and stuff. It was a people, it was a lovely ball, man. We put some lovely combinations together throughout the game and yeah, man, you're kind of more, I wouldn't say annoyed, but you're thinking about the ones, it's the ones that we missed if we did score because we were playing some lovely stuff. Wenger would have been proud of the Wenger ball that these lot were playing, man. Obviously, naturally, your foot is going to come off the gas as you're, and a lot, this is what these lot have to learn to keep your standards up. But when you're battering a team, your standards are going to drop slightly because you're getting complacent because, like I said, Swansea had a defeative attitude from start to finish, in my opinion. And Coyle's up for it, man. Right-hand side, he's doing drag backs. He's doing all fun fancy things there. Smith is making late runs from midfield, and I'm thinking it's a matter of time before he's picked up. Fifth, mi um, f fifth minute. To make it 5-0, if I can remember correctly, obviously, we're playing good football. Coyle's brought down. It's a free kick. And don't get me wrong, I think the keeper should do 10 times better. It's, actually, it's not a poor free kick, but it's poor positioning from the keeper. Coyle steps up and he puts the free kick in, man. And it's 5 0 at this moment in time. Again, if I can remember correctly, because we scored so many, Cotterill scored, but 6 six nil our sixth goal. Again, self inflicted. They're trying to play out from the back and people are not concentrating. We're picking their pockets again and obviously we're making it count to make it six. Um, seventh goal, it was a lovely goal for me. All the goals were lovely, but. Out of, from a Swansea point of view, out of all of them, probably say the seventh, there wasn't much they can do. It's a lovely ball over the top, over the top um, for Smith from Vontae Daly Campbell. I told you he's coming alive. Smith puts it in, um, and then no, 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 that was the eighth goal. This is what I'm saying. I'm losing, I'm losing, I'm losing count. Seventh minute, seven nil. Sorry, Coyle pull it in in the back of the net. Our last goal was a lovely goal. Is what I meant to say. The eighth goal, I couldn't. If I was Swansea, I couldn't have any complaints because. It's a lovely ball over the top from Vontae Daly Campbell into the path of Matt Smith. It's a lovely run from him. He puts it in and Coyle's unmarked. He gets his hat-trick from that moment in time, man. Like, he got a second-half hat-trick. He really was on fire in that second half for me on that right-hand side. Greenwood was good as well. Balogun might have only got one today, but I felt he was good. Constant fawn in, in the defensive side, like I said. Very good with his back to goal, man. And I'm keen to see him step up next season on a full-time basis into the under-23s. Um, 
Obviously, on the basis of it, it looks like his contract is running out. Vontae Daly Campbell is leaving, but he's going to make a good prospect elsewhere. Coyle, hat trick, that's what you want to see, man. You want to, similar to um, Balogun, I know Coyle's more frequent in the under 23s, but you want to see him step up and do this at under 23 level on a consistent basis and play to that greater level because he's got it in his locker. It's just about doing it all the time. Cotterall as well. Cotterall and Smith uh, played very well, man. I know Smith signed his pro contract, and forgive me if I'm wrong, but Cotterall hasn't. I know he's turning. He's either seven. I'm so sure he's 17 now. Considering he was wanted by Dortmund and, and Marseille and all of these clubs there and he's actually playing quite well and I just believe in things being rewarded can't understand why he doesn't have a pro deal or official pro deal and yeah but and it was also nice to see my guy Alfie Matthews come on he had some good touches as well again another one hopefully with people moving up a couple of ages and him technically being a second year scholar he'll get more first first team well more first choice opportunities within the under 18 side to show he can do man because we have got some good players in this side potential is just potential but if they can go on to have top careers at arsenal or elsewhere it puts us in a good light and again man it's another day it's another fixture i'm watching of the under 18s and they're winning and winning convincingly and i'm i'm happy to see the consistency they play with they just you can tell they just enjoy football as well, tactical knowledge as well. And obviously, at a club like Arsenal, they have to be good technical footballers. And when I'm seeing little flicks from Balogun and Coyle and Greenwood's... Obviously, Greenwood didn't come from our, our academy, but he's ball-footed. And just Musa as well, just doing cute things. Aziz in the second half when he came on as well. Cute passes. Cute. I really like Aziz because he's... I'd describe him as elegant. He's not... He, his sort of way he plays, it doesn't force it, man. It's like he sees it already. I mean, if your name is Miguel Aziz, you've got to be able to do them sort of things, in it. Sounds Spanish like Javi and that. But, um, yeah, man, convincing performance. Coyle got a hat-trick, a brace from Cotterill. Um, Man to a man, we all played well. And there's really not, not that much more to say on that, man. It's, it's, it's the only hardest thing out of this, this sort of thing is keeping up with the amount of goals we put in, man, when we score eight. Swansea were terrible in my opinion and a lot of them probably have to look themselves in the mirror because this is what it's about, being professional footballers. Also possibly got to learn about damage limitation and possibly playing for pride because when it became apparent that the floodgates were going to open as it did numerous numerous times this evening, well not this evening, this fixture, um, they should have done more to do damage limitation because if you think about it, obviously it's not going to be as exaggerated at first team level but if that happens at first team level, some of you will not be playing for the club anymore and certain fans might do certain things that I don't necessarily condone on social media but like I said people, Arsenal 8, Swansea 0, it is what it is. These lads have um, Spurs on Tuesday, obviously the first team I've ever earned on the Monday. I'll obviously be there to talk about both and things like that. But for now, people deluded. Stay safe. I'm out.